Okay, this is going to be my go at um, making a rocket, which is going to be getting to orbit with the minimum cost possible. So I'm limited to these parts here, um, as you've got on your rocket design parts list. Um, and I've had a look at them, and I'm going to have a go at just making something which is going to cost the least amount possible, or be like the most cost efficient for the parts I've got. So. Ah, uh, that's it. Let's have a go. <laughs> it's going to be so embarrassing if this doesn't work now. <laughs> it should work. The math said it should work. Or at least, it's the most efficient design based upon the numbers from our checklist here. Really anticlimactic. We are accelerating at a rapid rate. Yeah, this is rather sedate. I don't even know if this is going to work. But then, um, let's speed things up a little bit. Just got to be a little bit careful when I uh, do the time warp because it's all game physics get a bit strange. But this should be okay for us. Everything seems fine. It's a very stable design, like what could possibly go wrong? Well, I will note that in terms of uh, cutting the costs, no parachute on top of the cockpit, so this is sort of a one-way trip that we're sending. Jebediah coming on. Alright, how's it looking? Well, it's, we're starting to accelerate quite well now really starting to pick up speed um, and powering away from the ground. I chose this motor here especially because it was the most cost efficient for the thrust it gave and it was also a lighter mass. This fuel tank provided the most cost efficiency uh, of fuel per dollar um, and I thought that even though you've got these radius converters in that it would be worthwhile. So, as you can tell, we're sort of starting to get away from our planet now, up to a maximum of... What's that? 1,900,000 meters? Hopefully that will change itself into kilometers in a second. Um, but yeah, so let's just zoom ourselves out. We can see the planet gets quite small beneath us. Successful trip. Oh. So our scale here has changed to kilometers. So we're in the 1,000 kilometer range. Just going to wait for it to get as high as it possibly can. You can even see the planet rotating underneath us. Oh. So our maximum height looks like 1,172 kilometers. Hooray. And now let's send us back down. You can see it rotating. Whoa. It's alright, it's going to just freak out a little bit as it loads everything. And yeah, this, this isn't going to end well, but we'll see what we can do in terms of trying to slow ourselves down. And get some nice re-entry effects going. You may have seen this on shotters in real life. Oh dear, there is no way we're slowing down enough in time. Like, at all. <laughs> well, it's sort of freaking out a bit as to load in the ground textures and stuff, but we're still coming in at over 100 meters per second, and it should go boom fairly undramatically. Yeah. <laughs> So not a chance of survival, but hey, there you go, minimum cost, got into orbit, got quite far away, mission is success.